Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got some pretty major news in relation to Jurassic World Dominion. Just recently today, a photo from the set of the new film was released that confirms the inclusion of a certain iconic island. So earlier today, I received news that the Chaos Theorem team that officially works with Colin Trevorrow and Universal on the new Jurassic Park movies were told to publish something for others to see. And that something was none other than this particular photo that shows us a pretty big detail about Jurassic World Dominion. What at first looks to be just simply an embryo box with the engine logo plastered on the front of it proves to be much more important when you simply look down revealing a Site B insignia that reads Isla Sorna. Now, of course, this opens up a brand new can of worms for the films that will certainly prove to be interesting in the next movie, and we're more than likely going to get some information on that island that we previously didn't know about in earlier films. If we go off of what was spoken on screen in Fallen Kingdom, we learn that Isla Nublar is, or at least was, believed to be the last home of the few surviving dinosaurs that existed on the planet. However, this film including the island some way in its plot could offer up more information on that subject that may or may not tie into what we already know from the viral marketing campaign. Now, if I'm actually being brutally honest here, I have to admit that I am really, really mixed on seeing this image for the first time for a number of different reasons. Because while there is a part of me that thinks it's cool that Isla Sorna is being included in this new movie, maybe it'll look more like the Lost World with the Redwood Forests and everything, there's another part of me that's just kind of thinking about this and going, uh... Well, I don't really know what to think, to be honest with you. If we go into what is actual, factual canon for Jurassic Park right now, Isla Sorna is believed to be devoid of all dinosaurs. Ian Malcolm coined this problem as the chaos effect. The dinosaur species on the island were all dying out, nobody really knew what was going on, and Simon Mizrani kind of slowly took what surviving animals were on Site B and moved them into Jurassic World. We know that poaching was a big problem if you read something like the Evolution of Claire Tyen novel, and we also know that the Spinosaurus that was illegally cloned in 1999 disrupted the ecosystems in a pretty severe way. Now, the details surrounding the dinosaurs dying on Site B is actually something taken directly from Michael Crichton's source material, The Lost World, where at the end of that book, it's revealed that a disease would eventually kill off all the dinosaurs on the island and that they were all doomed to die. So when Fallen Kingdom implemented that stuff into the plot of what was going on on the islands, I was really in for it because that was being much, much truer to Jurassic Park than what we saw happen in Jurassic Park 3 and the Lost World Jurassic Park where basically they had a fairy tale ending where all the dinosaurs were believed to live in a land before time setting and never really have anything bad happen to them. But whatever's going on in this new movie, it seems like Isla Sorna is going to be a part of the plot somehow and we're going to get more of an expansion on it. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to go back there and I honestly Honestly, I really hope that we don't unless it's a flashback or something because as you guys know, if there's one thing that I really, really hate in sequels and in movies in general, especially this franchise, it's retconning. And if they come out in this new movie and say like, it's just like the Great Valley, I gotta be honest with you, I would hate that. But we're gonna have to wait and see how all this stuff goes down. You can't get more real than Crichton. Now, obviously we don't know any specific details, but I would be really interested to see if it opens on something like a flashback during Hurricane Clarissa. It could be something like that, or it could be an intro with the spinal or it could be not included in the intro at all and just alluded to later on that dinosaurs have been there and the poaching happened or maybe people were stealing them off the island or something. I don't know. They could go in a ton of different directions with this thing. Bottom line, what we know is fact. A set image from Jurassic World Dominion has been revealed that shows Isla Sorna is officially a part of the new movie. We don't know in what capacity and we can only speculate from here, but it's definitely looking to be pretty interesting. Anyways guys, those are all just my thoughts on the subject matter. What do all of you think about Isla Sorna being on this crate on the set photo for Jurassic World Dominion? What does that mean for what we've previously known about the island? What does that mean for what we can expect in the new movie? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. 
I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.